Hey guys, welcome back. Take two, actually. I just noticed I shot the first take with my microphone on mute, so that was that was really sweet. Um, all right, so I was looking back on a few of the videos, and I was like, man, I feel like there was one part, uh, like with Card in the Wings, I put it in a title. I'm actually going to delete it out, but um, it's just real important. And I've just I look back, and I've I forgot that I didn't put it in the Emperor video, and I think the Redhead... Of course, the Redhead was a dead strap, so normally tape is the way to go with that. So, what I want to do is just kind of show the actual process, um, because it just it makes a big difference. You know, you think when a bird's flying, and it's going 50 miles an hour, whatever it is, and the wings are flat. I mean, not only from a physical standpoint, um, just from you know, against the, the muscle or whatever, but, you know, just from an aerodynamic. And you kind of see it, you know, with a lot of, uh, it just makes a big difference in the final product. So, of course, I really want to kind of emphasize, you know, something, you know, maybe not everybody does. I don't know. But, so we, st we'll have one side and the other, um, since this is take two, apparently. Um, so we already have the wire on the underside. Um, we have that, so that's kind of, you know, we did the cardboard, um, after we had the wire underneath to kind of help, um, you know, help the height and the kind of placement of that. Um, everything has been taped. This is already dry, so this I'm actually taking them off, but, you know, we'll pretend that it's not. So, from there, um, I just want to say, too, make sure with the upholstery pins, you know, make sure, when, you know, like, when you have the wings, so I'm just trying to think of the sequence of events here. So you have, um, you put it together before you even tape it, before you do anything. Once you get it to kind of bent to, you know, the angle you want it and, you know, wherever, the location. You know, I always get a, a upholstery pin and I'll put that um, into the flight web and I want to pull that kind of tight. So if the bone's going in here, I'm going to pin it slightly above the bone and the wire into the foam. So it's, it's slightly in front of the bone, um, but it's, you know, you just want to make it to where you have a nice, good angle, kind of a sloping down angle, and it also is going to pull that tight, which is going to help the feathers kind of set a lot flatter. So, which is, you know, makes a big difference. Because if you don't and you tape it all up, it'll have like kind of an unnatural dip right here. And, you know, when you're skinning it, you got to cut it oh, the flight web away. So, you know... You're just putting it, you know, like everything else, I guess. You're just putting it back to where it uh, it started, began. So once that's all done, um, and I'll describe this in a second, but I'll put, I'll start with the pointy side, kind of, you know, on the underside in the body, and then you'll want to pin it, um, work it into the wire, in between the wire and the wing, so you have just like a little bit of a, a little bit of an edge, not much, and then I'll go and I'll stick, uh, it can be over the scaps, but you ultimately you want it to be kind of underneath the scaps, that way it's kind of compressing all the way towards the body. And so I'll just kind of line that up. The, uh, the first one I'll kind of get with the big uh, bend in it, and I'll pin that kind of towards the outside. So generally from here, this piece will kind of be up. Um, from there, I'll uh, make sure that there's no, you don't want any feathers that, you want to make sure they're all laying flat. So, you know, if you have to kind of go on with tweezers or kind of just, you know, push a little bit, make sure, just make sure they're flat. That way, because wherever you, you pinch them, that's where they're going to dry. And if you have some that are off to the side or, or they're kind of up, obviously it's going to pin, you know, dry weird. So, I'll kind of put a little bit of pressure with my tweezers. I'll go in, kind of push, push, make sure everything's laying down. You know, with your fingers, you can kind of go in before two and kind of press just so you can make sure they're flat. I'll do one here. And you just want to make sure these two pieces kind of touch. Um, that kind of just creates creates like a natural point. And uh, do one there, do one here. And then if you want, and I normally do, I'll put one towards the primaries in the cardboard just to kind of help the end part, um, just to make sure everything is you know, nice and straight along the whole length of the, the wing. So from there, um, and that's, that's mostly it. And then from, then you can just take your tweezers on the scaps. This one was falling out. And then you can just kind of work them back out and you're good to go. 
So on these, I would say like, um, you know, it's after about maybe say, I mean, say like total of duct takes, I don't know, seven days, eight days, whatever, uh, to dry or dry enough to where you can take the tape off. Then after about probably day three, sometimes day four, depending if it's like a big bird that, you know, kind of needs to be compressed, then I'll go ahead and take them off. That way it kind of lets it finish breathing and drying. Um, I was going to say on this, this is something I found a few years ago that's been really helpful. Um, is It's like, I don't know what they're, what they're called. Um, I was wandering around Hobby Lobby and I found them um, just by accident. It was in the uh, like fabric section. And uh, it comes in a 8 by 10 sheet, just like a regular sheet of paper, but it's this corrugated plastic. And um, so you kind of see there, the bigger squares and the smaller squares really don't like matter as far as the, the job that they do. But it, uh, what's good about it is I always try to do one on the underside. And really you could do both, I guess. It doesn't really matter, but I'll do one on the underside. Um, that's where the feathers are kind of thinner, more down. Uh, smaller feathers, that kind of stuff, and it just allows it to breathe really good. And that way, because you know, if if you have both cardboard, um, say it's say it's humid, say it's a big bird, I mean, you know, a bunch of scenarios. But it's like you know, you're kind of creating a closed off area where air can't can't get to it. So with this, is yeah, maybe the top side's not getting as much, but I like to use cardboard. Um, these I just cut. Uh, Frosted mini wheats, good cereal by the way. I just cut these for a general kind of shape. You know, this is like teal, you know, diver, redhead, gadwall, um, and it's always good to have some bigger pieces. So like this is kind of, you know, for medium to small. Um, this would be for something bigger, you know, like a mallard, um, pintail, uh, and then like for geese, you might want to do. Um, like an 8 by 10 sheet, you might even just cut it in half, make a little uh, angle, because you want the angle to be, you know, where it'll fit in. Because if it's straight, it just, it just doesn't work. And this is good because you can really kind of push it in there, get it real tight. You don't really disrupt the scaps too much. So it works out good. But definitely pick up some 8 by 10s of these, cut them. Uh, cardboard, same thing. Cereal boxes, you know, because corrugated cardboard it, it, it bends real funky um this stuff obviously bends great and this stuff bends without uh creases so and it also has some integrity to it um so really i just want to kind of go over um a few things that i hadn't touched on quite as much but honestly it's like one of the more important things so just cut have you some nice spares i normally have uh you know, and then, oh, so for, for the clips, I mean, you can get them at Walmart. I think I got some of them at Walmart, um, Sally Beauty, or like a salon place, hair supply, whatever. You can get these. Yeah, I think, I'm just trying to think back. I don't want to give any, bet, like, wrong information. Yeah, I think Walmart sells them in the cosmetic stuff. But these little clips here, I mean, man, you can bend them, uh, to all kinds of shapes that you need. For example, if you have a say a bird that's kind of um, say he's his wings are at like a real sharp angle or whatever. I mean, then if you need to, you can you know really have it this angle. If you need it for the end part and you need to have a little bit more of a a gap in there, because if you don't have if you don't have this big gap in this end part, then what'll happen is one side will just kind of it it won't lay flat. It'll stick up and it's not compressing as well. Uh, so it's just, they're really cool. You can use small ones too, like uh, these. The only, the only thing I'm always, a uh, problem I found with these is when you stick them on, if uh, there's any kind of resistance, they'll tend to slide off. And so you'll have to put like a little piece of masking tape or something to kind of keep them from doing that. Well, well, obviously that's a lot more trouble than just sticking a big clip on and not having to worry about it. So... Once you get the clips, once you get the cardboard, you know, it's two per bird, so I try to keep maybe, I don't know, six to eight on hand, and that'll, that'll keep everything pretty good. So, anyway, I'm just trying to try a new, few new things. Thank God I figured out the microphone thing. I guess ten minutes too late, but uh, 
try to make everything a little bit easier to see and, and go over some specific things. I, try, I was going to try to do the standing bird thing. I apologize. I know I said uh, I was going to try to do it last week and got working on these king eye. Just the whole day just got sucked away and and I just didn't have time. Uh, it's one of those days, but still, that's going to be coming up soon. I'm going to try to do one maybe once a week or something like that, and uh, you know try to do some specific things like this. Hopefully, so. And always, I like appreciate comments, uh, any ideas, it's always welcome. Um, I've been really thankful for the subscribers and for uh, the uh, the nice comments. I'm, I mean, I'm really, that's awesome that it's uh, helping people in some aspect. And, um, you know, people are liking them. So, seriously, it's, that's just terrific. I, I honestly never thought, <laughs> it's hopefully we had 100 subscribers this week, and I never thought um, doing videos about bird taxidermy would... Uh, and you know, and silver, you know, here and there would be, uh, would you know, would be even to get to that. So, awesome stuff. And we have both sides. Um, and then other than that, that's just the last thing I do before uh, we do the uh, um, the fishing string on the leg and the injection process. Because this is this is kind of like carding is after it's been taped, after everything is set, and it's the very very last thing. And uh, it really does make a big difference as far as. Uh, and also too, it's like it keeps it keeps the wing flat, and because sometimes when you tape them, you can see here I kind of pinched. I think we went over that in the Emperor Goose. Uh, if it's if it's wanting to kind of work this way, like a little crease, then you can always just put a pin and kind of hold it tighter, and that'll help you know kind of close it or straighten it back out. Normally with the carding, it'll do that for you, and it's it's super easy. And the cool thing is, too, it's reusable. You know, a lot of the stuff with the wire and a lot of the things you use aren't reusable. I mean, these are probably, you know, God only knows. So, anyway, keep it coming, guys. Hopefully, uh, I'll try to get this up uh, get this up soon. And then we'll go on to the next one. All right, bye, guys.